Hello and guten Tag. My name is Max, this is Make Modify, and in today's video we're gonna visit my last project on this channel, which was the pressure tube. Since doing this video I got quite some feedback. And also I said it in the video, I said it in the description and in the comments, there was still the risk that someone out there uses some inappropriate plastic pipes and blows it up. So, in this video I'll present to you a solution which is much safer and still pretty affordable. Anyways, if you decide to do the same, you do it on your own risk. Don't use random crap, don't be an idiot. So, this out of the way, let's start. If you have a house in Germany, you need a water filter right after the water meter. I actually have no idea if you need something like this in the US or if it's kind of a nice to have feature. I don't know what's up with other parts of the world, but I checked it and in the US you can actually get this on Amazon and on eBay. So I guess getting one should be not a problem. Sorry for the mess, I'm still moving in here. So let's start with this. As mentioned in the vlog, this is a German uh, water filter or <laughs> this one is made in Poland to be exact. Um, there is a half inch version, a three fourth version and a one inch version. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, water stuff in Germany is still in uh, Imperial. Don't ask me why. Legacy, I guess. Um, this is a 10 inch long version. Again, inch Y. And it's rated to 8 bar, which is, uh, I think, uh, 800 kilopascal or um, something around 110 psi I think yeah so uh, anyways I got this one from eBay for uh, 10 euro if I would buy it again I would buy the half inch version not the three three quarter version if I would do so I could reduce the amount of fittings I will need for this. So anyways, let's start this. If, if you've seen my uh, old pressure rocket video, there were some concerns which are absolutely right. Um, if you use PVC pipe you can buy at the hardware store, you might risk uh, blowing your uh, pipe up. And so I think this is a way better version. So, um, yeah, this is basically it. It's got an, uh, an arrow. Uh, this is for pressure release, which is uh, pretty good for our purpose. And yeah, so you can unscrew the lid um, and take out the manual, which we won't need. So, and this is your volume. For comparison, this is uh, the old version of my pressure rocket, which uh, still works and um, still worked fine for me. But yeah, you can see it's a bit bigger, the new version. So anyways, let's get that out of the way and have a look at the top. So we can see um, there's an import which uh, goes straight in to the top. Usually the water flows from the outside through the filter to the inside and goes out like here, but um, for our purpose it does not matter which port we use. I think for um, the air intake I will use this one since this one might disturb the air a bit more, but yeah, whatever. So um, as mentioned, this is uh, three quarters of an inch and um, for air pressure or for uh, pneumatics uh, we get have to get down to I don't know uh, this is uh, one fourth I think yeah and this is also one fourth so um, to do this it's not that easy to find the right parts in the hardware store this one which is a reduction from um, from three fourth to a half um, was the last one I could get at the hardware store, the rest was gone. And so we have to improve, <laughs> so we have to um, improvise a bit with this um, three fourths to uh, one half, then at this one half uh, thing, and then at the reduction from uh, one half to one fourth. Yeah, 
I think if I would have gotten this in one half, I would be way better here, but yeah, so I will have to reduce my way down. So let's start this. So first we take the 3 fourth to 1 half, then our extension. Uh, on the other side you will see how it could be a bit uh, easier. And then just screw this on. Um, obviously you want to use some Teflon tape to make it airtight. I will show you how this works, but um, let's do some dry fitting. And then add it in here. And then we will add the uh, one half to one fourth. And then you can think about what you want to put on this side. I will use this uh, valve, which is one fourth. And then add the quick connect fitting for my compressor. So this is uh, where the air will go in. I can block it like that. And uh, on this side, I will add the uh, pressure gauge, which is in bar, but um, that's what the home improvement store had. And um, the other one I will use for my CNC. So yeah, uh, anyways, uh, again, reduce to one half, three fourths to a half, a half, one fourth, and then screw in the uh, pressure gauge, I guess. As long as it's screwing easy, I can do it by hand, but um, it gets hard, so I will use the pliers. And yeah, so here we are. That's basically everything done. Um, now we can um, get our parts and put them in here um, or in here and put on this part and screw it on properly. You don't have, even have to screw it all the way, but uh, yeah, here we go. I would have to do one more rotation, but that's plenty enough, at least for the uh, 60 PSI I want to use it at. I don't want the 120 PSI. And yeah, that's it. What's uh, where the box? Yeah, in the box is also a wrench if you want to tighten it all the way, by the way, and a mount with some screws. So if you screw this on, you can screw this on the top and then, I don't know, hang it, hang it from the wall, I guess. I would probably build a stand for it that way around maybe. Shot build a stand um, to mount it like that and um, yeah maybe do a, a flat bottom so I can put in my molds. Anyways um, I show you how you can add the Teflon tape and then I'll do the rest and give it a test. So disassembled as much as I needed it. So let's start with this one. Um, that one goes in like this and you turn this like that as usual and so you want to wrap the uh, tape like this so you um, tighten it up afterwards. Um, yeah you, there are several techniques for doing this and I'm not an expert I'm not a plumber but uh, yeah I usually take a piece of um, Teflon tape and just wrap it around nice and tight so you can see the threads and then it's basically it. Uh, now you can see it's closed up. Um, I think the pressure would not have a problem, but let me grab a knife. I'll grab a knife. So there's the first part, which will go in like this. So 
that was the first part. So now this has to reduce into this. And then all the rest I showed you. Be right back. So here we are again. Everything sealed up with um, Teflon tape. So let's get out the compressor and test this. So let's do this. And yeah, I reduced my compressor to the 60 PSI I want to use with this. Uh, since I don't feel like uh, manually uh, twisting this to the right pressure. So uh, close this up so it does not rush in straight ahead. And connect this. And then open the valve and have a look at the... Slowly. So we are at uh, 4 bars, which is, uh, yeah, I think 60 psi. And then I'll close this up. And yeah, disconnect the uh, compressor. And there you go. Um, could leave this lying here, come back and see if the pressure dropped. At the moment I can see, oops, sorry. Uh, at the moment I can see it's slowly um, lowering the pressure. So I might want to tighten this a bit more in here or um, yeah, I think the ceiling is good enough. You could add some soap water and find out um, where a leak is, but yeah, good enough for me for now. So we can reduce, release the pressure by pushing this button. But as you can see, that takes forever. Just open the valve slowly. And there you go. So this is basically something you can do, but disclaimer, just do it if you really know what you do or what I did. And um, don't get the wrong stuff. Don't buy anything cheap where you don't know what it is, how it is and whatever. Always buy the stuff that is properly rated like this one. I mean, I have to um, believe in <laughs> the rating on there, but um, since I bought this uh, from Germany and it's produced in Europe, I think it should be to our standards. So anyways, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in another video.